Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. From this particular video, we will be starting to solve the problems on weighted average capital. The question is on the screen. The following is the capital structure and the firms expected after tax component costs of the various sources of finance. Calculate the weighted average cost of a capital. So here they have given the source of finance means from where they have brought the capital and what is the amount of money they have raised and what is the expected after tax cost of that particular capital. So using this we need to find out the weighted average capital. So for this you need to have four five columns. So what are those columns is first one is sources of finance. Second one is you can write it as value column. Third one is W. W refers for weights. You can take it as weights. Fourth one is expected average. Uh, expected after tax cost. It is be treated as X. So we will take it as X variable. Then multiply these two columns. You will get WX. Now sources of finance has they have given in the question. The same thing should be written. So first is equity share capital. Second is retained earnings. Third is preference share capital and fourth one is debt. Now same, the value also how they have given the same values should be written. Only thing is you have to do the total. So when you add all these four components, you get a total of 15 lakhs. Now what you need to do for weights is 6,50,000 divided by 15 lakhs into 100. So if you do that, you will get 43.33 percentage. Next, what you need to do is 2,50,000 divided by 15 lakhs into 100. If you do, you will get that weightage that is 16.67. That means the total weightage of equity share capital in the capital structure of the firm is 43.33%. And in the total capital of the organization, the weight of retained earnings is 16.67. That is what it means. Then, you have to divide 1,50,000 by 15 lakhs. You will get 10%. Next, 4,50,000 divided by 15 lakh into 100. You will get 30. Now, when you add all these things, always you should get 100. So, this is a weight. So, if you add this column, you will get 100. Now, we have to find out Wx. So, for that, you need to multiply this w component that is third column with the fourth column so fourth column in the question they have given 20 20 15 and 12 they have only given it in the question now multiply these two 43.33 into 20 will be 80 sorry 866.6 16.67 into 20 will be 3333.4 10 into 15 will be 150, 12 into 30 will be 360. Add all these four component, you will get summation of Wx, that is 1710. Now we have got all the values. Now we can find out the weighted average cost of capital. The formula is summation Wx divided by summation W. So it is 1710 divided by 100. If you divide it, you will get weighted average cost of capital that is 17.1%. It's an easy method, easy problem. Hope you have understood this. If you have any doubt, you can put your doubts in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible. In my further videos, I'll be solving some more weighted uh, average cost of capital problems.